Hello YouTube model is welcome back to my channel. I want to thank all my subscribers and viewers for watching. So today's video, I'm going to enter this kit into the heavy armor, heavy guns group build hosted by, and I hope I don't mess up the pronunciation, Jakim from Jorama Model Bow and also Marcus from Scale Bench Plastic Models. We have until February 26th of next year, 2023, to complete it. I think I should be able to do it. This is a somewhat modern kit. Um, it's a Lindbergh. I usually build tank kits from Tamiya, but I saw this at Ollie's for $10. I couldn't pass it up. Now, growing up, Lindbergh kits have always been basic, simple, and low detail, but was always high in the play value factor because they were built sturdy enough to handle and play with and as a kid I did play with my models afterwards but unlike the Skyhawk and the Phantom I built previously this is a more modern kit it's not from 1966 I think I still see this kit on their website on round two so it is where is it? Why can I find it? 2015. So what I am expecting is this kit to be modern tooling and should be pretty decent. I mean, now that Round 2 owns a lot of these brands, I see that a lot of the kits um, go across all lines. Like the kit that was AMT might show up as Lindbergh or vice versa. So. I think I will be building it as the Russian T-55. I think the T-44 preceded this and then it got um, built as a T-54 and then that was not too successful. So they were replaced by the T-55. They also give you the option of building the uh, Tehran 5, Tehran 5, which were basically Israeli um, tanks that they captured from the Soviet allies and converted for their use and the israelis were very good at adapting whatever tank they had like i think the sherman tank that they up gun and upgraded to the cummins diesel and the larger bore gun the m51 was also a very good tank so i'm pretty sure they did a good job with the uh t55 but i'm going to be building as a soviet version and of course in light of current events I'm going to throw out the disclaimer that this is not a political statement or any type of allegiance or affiliation, but just a build of a Soviet plastic scale model. So let's take a look at the box and see what's in here. So it looks like they have the lightest shade green, so I may have to get that Russian um, tank green because I only have the dark green, which I use for American tanks. Um, I actually do have that color, but I do want to build it as a Russian tank. Maybe if I had two, I would build it as the uh, Israeli version. So, it should be a pretty good um, modern build of a modern kit, I mean. So, I'll be back after I open it and break open the bag so we can review the kit. But in the meantime, I just want to do a shout out. I received a bunch of stuff from Peter Burstow. He's been a long time um, sub and viewer of my channel um, when I first started and he is from the UK so here are some postcards from his town um, or city that he's from, Norwich. hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. I wonder if he has a hobby shop in that town. So anyway, thanks Peter for sending these over giving us an idea of your uh, town and thank you for the um, encouraging words on the back he also has some rat fink characters and this one reminds me of the testers weirdos the caricatures oversizing a vehicle of some type in this case it looks like a Mopar like a GTX or something all right, so let me open up the kit and I'll be right back. All right, so I just opened up the box. The parts are not 
separately bagged, which is fine. It looks like they have poly caps for possibly the road wheels. They have the rubber tracks that I'm used to when I was building. <clears throat> in which you would just use a hot flat screw driver to melt and burn the plastic um, inserts into the hole. So that's not anything strange. The gun is at least in one piece, because I remember the many manufacturers made them to halves. So when you glue them together, you end up with that seam line. So, so far, I mean, it's not bad. The impression, or the, it's not bad. I haven't built a tank in over 20 years. I built a lot of Tamiya, but pull out of storage. This is the machine gun. Fuel tanks. That looks like the, what do you call it, the mantle? The gun mantle. The road wheels. I wonder if they're steel road wheels or rubber coated because if they're rubber you have to paint the black looks like the suspension arms these are the drive or sprocket wheels along with the idle wheels more fuel tanks or panels which I can't identify lights Hatch. These probably look like the um, the tread coverings, the track coverings on the side. Okay, so not bad. So it looks simple enough. Decent amount of detail. Oh, part that fell off. Before beginning, read through all instructions carefully. Thank God they uh, reminded me. Oh. Decent decal sheet. Of course, instructions. I didn't see a commander, so maybe I'll see an instruction sheet. I mean, I skimmed over the plastic part really, really fast. Usually the suspension, the road wheels are usually the most tedious parts. Everything else is like the small hand holes, accessories. I probably will not be going all out on this tank, meaning I'm not going to get photo etch or anything like that. There's no interior, so this of course is the Israeli version. Israelis always do a good job of upgrading or modifying it for their use. Because you're mostly out in the desert, out in the open. So, I believe the Israelis are more into crew survivor. So, um, yeah, so it looks good. Yep. Screwdriver with the melting tip. Which I remember when I was younger, my, I always used to bother my dad to have him heat the screwdriver and over the stove burner and do them for me. Okay, so that's it. So uh, I think I should have fun with this. Do some serious weathering with this. Um, I don't see a commander, which I'm highly upset because I know Tamiya usually gives you at least one, if not two figures. One is always the commander in the commander's coupler and a driver in the driver's hatch. 
So one minus point for Lindbergh for not including the figure. I always, building military, I always love it when they include a pilot for the planes, a crew figure for the tanks, things like that. So, oh well, even though the box art has a commander sticking his head up on the top, so that's kind of deceptive. But again, then again, this is an art drawing, not a picture of a completed model. Okay, so hope you guys enjoy that intro.